guys so I have a haul for you today it's mostly polishes um, I did do swatches of the gel polishes but not the stamping polishes because there's a lot of them so I'll just go ahead and get right into it first from die hard or DIY hard nails is white out which is just a solid white polish there's no sparkle or anything into it it's just your basic white that one's very opaque I do like that one a lot the next one from the same brand is Paradise and this one's a color changing polish so it's kind of this pretty indigo color and then when exposed to warm it turns into that green so again very pretty and it has the sparkles throughout it large and fine next color is red velvet which is just a beautiful deep red with a bunch of sparkles and the next one is black cat which is again just a creamy basic black I use this one a lot in my tutorials um, I like it two coats it's opaque so that's really nice very good consistency on that one so from Madame Glam I picked up green verdict which is this beautiful sparkly peridot color absolutely stunning and the nice thing is with theirs is they put a sample of it but because all of my other polishes have the tabs I use that and by the way if you're wondering where I get the tabs I order mine on Amazon I also pick them up at Born Pretty store and there's other stores that carry them too but the last time I ordered I ordered from Amazon and the next color from Madame Glam is sweetest of all which is this, which is this really beautiful pearlized light pink the next color is Chit Chat, which is this really pretty, it looks gray on the swatch, but it's kind of a purpley color. I don't know if it's picking up that way on the camera or not, but it's a little bit purple. And again, that's Chit Chat. The next two colors I picked up were Jelly, so I do the tip white to show how jelly they are, if that makes sense. So this is just applying it right onto the plastic, and then this is putting a white underneath. So if you want it to look opaque, you always do a white coat first and then you put the color over top of it. If you want it to be transparent, so you can do like say stamping and then um, polish over top of that, you would see the stamping through the polish, which would be really pretty. So that's why I do my swatches that way. And this color is neon yellow and again that's a jelly. And then the next jelly is this one, and this is neon lime green. And again, I did the same thing. Now this one isn't quite as see-through as the other one, as transparent, but this is with two coats. So if you wanted more of the white to show through, you would just do one coat as opposed to two. Um, whenever I do my swatches, I always do two coats. So that's neon lime green. And the next item that I picked up was this here, which is actually a jeweler set on Amazon. It's called a diamond tweezer kit and it has six pieces so most of the pieces are just really large tweezers with fine points. This one here has a shovel so I thought that'd be really good for um, glitters or little stones that I'm working on. It has another tweezer here and then it has this one which is basically the same thing. And then it has this black one but the difference is it has a clip on it and then this silver one has a clip so they're all very fine point but the reason that I picked up the kit was for this tool here and what it is you push this side and out comes a claw so if you're doing stamping you could put a cotton ball in there soak it with acetone and then use that to clean your plates as opposed, as opposed to doing it with your hands so you don't mess up your design I've done that a couple times so we'll see how that goes and this is a five prong they sell three prong and four prong as well so the next item, there's a bunch of them in here, so I'm just going to name off the color and then set it off to the side. So this is from MDU, and I'll try to put the links down below if I remember to. And this is all stamping polish. So real quick, I just had a question, guys. Would you be interested in seeing a swatch video where I go through and I swatch each one of the colors? Now on the side of the bottle, they do give you a spot where you can swatch it yourself, and they do a black and a white so you can see the color on that um, but like I said with all of my other polishes I put them with these little tabs so I was thinking of doing that with all of them it's just that that would be a really long process um, but is that something you guys would be interested in if so let me know in the comments and I'll try to put that together for you guys anyways the first color is this one here and this is neon pink number 29 
This is 21 purple, 27 neon yellow. This is neon orange, number 28. High green, 37. Red, number 9. Gold, number 17. Number 42. 2D, number 69. Orange, number 13. Turquoise, number 5. Neon blue, number 30. Dark gray, number 34. Aqua, number 24. Neon green, number 38. I got the larger size as well. Now those bottles are the minis. This is the larger size. I got that in black. And white, which is number one. And sorry, black is number two. Blue navy, number three. Green, number eight. Fantasy, number 60. Violet, number 14. Blue, number 4. Yellow, number 11. This one leaked a little bit, but not very much, and the polish inside is still fine. And this is number 32, and this is called Reddish. And I'll insert a picture how these were sent. They were all wrapped individually, which I really appreciate. And they were I was impressed with the way that they shipped it. Now this did come all the way from Mexico and it took about a month to get to me in Washington. And that just has to do with customs. So if you do order from them, just know that the shipping might take a while depending where you're at. And like I said, I'll have the link down below for you guys to the actual store. I also ordered a miniature black and white, but that went into a giveaway that I'm doing. So if you want to backtrack and go to that video that's before this one, um, you'll see the giveaway there. So let me know if you guys are interested in the swatch video. I can try and do that. It'll probably take me a little bit because I'll have to do each individual one. But it's definitely something I'm willing to do for you guys if you'd like to see it. And that's it for this haul. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching.